welcome back to the latest chapter of Tune Up For What. Spencer? Jeremiah. And uh, you know, it's our mission, it's our passion to help you get the most out of your machines and to show you how to figure out what's wrong with them if you feel like something is. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to yeah. check out the test mode of the X small machine, which uh, tests the functions of, of the machine. You can determine what's wrong if you have a fault, if you've got a blinking light and you can't get it to clear. Uh, it's a good way to diagnose your machine. See if you okay. have to send it in or something you can fix on your own. Okay. Uh, so getting into test mode, um, you take your dial, it's normally in the center for your coffee bean, turn it to the hot water. What you're going to do is press and hold the top button and then plug the machine into the wall. Once you do that, the light sh should hopefully blink like a disco right now. Okay. So that tells me right now we're in test mode. These two lights are on, the power button lights on. Okay. Really cool. Uh, the way you select is by the power button. We'll change your settings. The first one just shows you the lights are working. Second one operates the brew unit. Okay. Meaning everything on this side of the machine is in place and sensors are working. Okay. Now say your dump box is in, fully seated mm -hmm. and you go to push the button and no noise. Okay. There's usually something wrong on this side. So sensor, you probably micro sensor, switch. micro switch, something you're going to okay. have to send into a repair shop. Okay. But with it fully seated, you should hear it move. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that guy. Cycle again. Um. That's activating the pump. So okay. what that's doing is making sure the pump works. Another option is sometimes these machines get new or refurbed. They get a vapor lock in the okay. pump. You can pull out your water tank and actually still run the pump and take a plunger or a syringe or something and insert it where this guy goes in. Otherwise, you'd have to stick both hands in there. Yeah, you have to trick the sensor and add, try to fit okay. your hand. It's okay. a nightmare, okay. especially if you have big hands. It's a cool little feature to do. Um, other than that, it's just we know the pump's working on this machine. Cycle it again. This is testing heating element. You're not going to see a difference. Okay. Nothing's going to happen. Um, you have to have the case apart and test the boiler. Next one, that's your grinder. Mm. So that tells me my grinder's working. So say you get it, you've had it for a couple years, you hit the brew button, nothing happens. Uh, it gives you flashing lights. Okay. Easy way to go in and go, well, it's nothing on this side, it's not the pump. Mm -hmm. But when you hit this button and the grinder doesn't run, yeah. then it's most likely kind of clogged, grinder broken, something along those lines. Okay. So you're going to have to get it in and get it cool. serviced. Um, other than that, that is, that's your test mode on uh, X small. Uh, hopefully it helps. Helps you figure become out your, own, your yeah. own detective. Uh, but I'll see you guys next week. Um, any comments, concerns, you leave them down below. Thanks. See ya. Good night.